Yeah. Welcome to From Field to Stream TV. In this program, we're on the Upper Morick Fishings on the River Corkett, and we're learning how to use the prone. James Armstrong on Upper Morrick Fishing. i um, going to tell you a little bit about how I fish the shrimp and prawn, uh, which is a successful method in low water, clear water, when there's a lot of fish in the pools. Uh, today I'm using a Hardy Marksman spin, 9 foot 6, for a 10 to 25 gram rated, with a little Shimano Nexave 3000 reel loaded with 10 pound Maxima. Obviously the reason I love fishing the prawn is when you've had a big flood, uh, Upper Morrick fishing is probably located about two miles upstream of tidal. Um, so once you've had a big flood, it brings a lot of clean fish into the river system. The water levels drop down, that's when you can target the fish. Obviously fishing the shrimp, you can fish it on a float, but my preferred method is stalking them uh, when the water's jinklier. Obviously you see all sorts of different reactions from the fish. Sometimes the fish will take it in one, sometimes they'll pick it up, spit it out, balance it on their nose, you know, it's amazing. Sometimes you could be hooking salmon five, six, seven foot in front of you. Absolutely superb. Gets your heart racing. So, the way I would normally approach the pool is, fishing straight through line, shrimp in, number eight travel this time. Flick it out into the pool, let it sink. Make sure the drag is reasonably reasonably tight, not too tight though, and it's a case of sink and draw. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna spot the fish, and you want to sort of put that shrimp sort of one to two foot in front of that fish. And nine times out of ten, if it if it is a take care, it'll it'll take it in one. No reaction that time. It happens two ways with salmon fishing, with the shrimp. You leave a go to a pool where you know there's a lot of fish and you will catch the majority of them fish. Or you will go to a pool, you'll flip the shrimp in and the salmon will spook. The salmon just won't take. There's a nice fish just jumped up there in the background. But anyway, I'm going to have to get going because obviously I've got clients today. So number four trouble, shrimp in. Um, pink shrimp courtesy of D, purple whiskers. Just going to start at the tail. Thread it through the body. Up to the head. And the treble is going to go in the back of the head. So the treble lies flat on the back of the shrimp. So you're going to start at the tail. Bind it on. Pull the legs down just so you... Sure. 
we can use normal bait elastic, but I tend to use tights just for the natural colour, you know. It's gentle. No, no, too low down. The fish is too low. You want this to Lift it, lift. Left, 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 oh, no, wait, wait, the strike, that's him. Get him. That's it. See how it came out and turned yeah. it there. The fish on the right turned away from it. This one came over the top, didn't it? Is that how the fish on the right want to attack it? No, it turned away from it. This one pulled onto my legs. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right. Way of netting a salmon. 